Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. I want to take a second to say thank you to Mike and Lisa Irvin for allowing me to come out to the range because anytime you're out at the range, it's going to be a great day. And without their help, uh, bringing you guys these videos would be a lot more difficult. So this time we're going to be talking about the accuracy of the Zestava Arms USA ZPAP. Now I've already done a video kind of going over the uh, specifics on this on this uh, on this rifle, and so far out of the three that I've taken a look at, this one probably is going to be my favorite for a number of different reasons, and I talked about that in my other video. But um, today I wanted to see what the accuracy was going to be like. Now, the last accuracy video I did for the PSA GF3 and the RH10, uh, I had a couple of comments uh, that I wanted to bring to you guys' attentions because uh, some of them brought uh, additional quality to future videos and uh, other comments, well, they're just comments. But <laughs> What I wanted to talk about was in my last video, I was only using one type of ammunition and uh, a couple of people were saying, hey, you're really testing the compatibility between that rifle and that one type of uh, ammunition. And I completely agree, you're absolutely right. So this time I've decided to use three different types of ammunition to see if there is going to be any major variances in the different types of ammunition and shooting them with this rifle. So we'll get into that here in just a second. But the other comment was that I can't shoot. <laughs> well guys, I'm going to let you guys on in a little secret. Uh, maybe I can't, I don't know. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm an average shooter. I am not an expert shooter. I'm not Robski, I'm not Mr. Guns and Gear. Uh, I'm a guy who learned how to shoot in the military. Uh, do they have the best training when it comes to marksmanship? Eh, I'll let you guys be the judge, especially you veterans out there. But at the end of the day, I am confident in my ability to shoot uh, up to about 300 yards. Now, with that being said, last year I had an opportunity to shoot a mile target, two different opportunities. Once with uh, Dimitri from Primary Arms, in a shot show last year, in January, and was able to hit a mile shot on the first round. I will tell you that I had a lot of help getting to that first round uh, sh uh, shot on target, but uh, I did hit the mile shot in the very first trigger pull, so that was pretty cool. And then in May with Palmetto State Armory, I was able to hit a mile as well. So I do have some ability to shoot accurately at extreme long distances, but at the same time, I'm not ex calling myself an expert. So what's the point of all of this? Well, the point is the accuracy that I'm going to get out of this rifle is what my abilities are able to do. I'm just an average shooter, so if you are an average shooter as well, then your results may be about the same or they may be better. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that uh, I can keyhole shots at 100 yards from any rifle and uh, be honest about it because that's not the truth. So let's get into it. Let's take a, a look at me shooting the three different types of ammunition and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, Tula. That's going to be the 122 grain. And then we're going to move to the Golden Tiger, which is 124 grain full metal jacket uh, boat tail. And then we're going to move to the Hornady Black, which is 123 grain SST. So let's see what happens.
All right, guys, so uh, real quick, I did want to show you guys uh, my groupings as I was zeroing the primary arms one to six Raptor uh, to this rifle, and that's this target right here. Uh, I was able to get, uh, you know, rounds right on top of each other at 25 yards. There is some variance right here with this center target. It was where I shot the most, and that was because I was making adjustments after a few different rounds to um, get me closer to the bullseye and closer to where I wanted to be. So that's why you're going to kind of see this uh, crescent moon looking um, grouping. At the end of the day, I'm just explaining to you guys what it looks like so you can tell that uh, I wasn't shotgun blasting at 25 yards and then this is the uh, accuracy that I was able to pull out of it. <laughs> but you've already seen what uh, I've been able to do shooting the three different types of ammo. So let's talk about the results a little bit uh, more in detail. Uh, the first round that we shot was the 122 grain Tula uh, full metal jacket ball. And this is just bulk ammo. You can pick this up online fairly cheap. Uh, you used to be able to buy it from Amazon really cheap as well. But uh, with that being said, the first five rounds that I shot were going to be these three here and then these two down here. Now, um, I was actually really surprised that the grouping that I had on these three rounds were these flyers? Possibly, but they all five felt really good when I pulled the trigger. So uh, it could be just the variance in the ammo, the rifle, who knows. But um, at the end of the day, those five rounds felt good when I shot them. The absolute spread on those rounds are going to be right at five and a quarter. So that's going to be from five, four and five, rounds four and five right there. So uh, again, that's about what I was able to get from the Palmetto State Armory and the RH-10. So still fairly consistent. The next round that we shot was going to be the Golden Tiger 124 grain full metal jacket boat tail. And uh, this is a new round for me. I just picked up about a thousand rounds of this uh, a little over a month ago at a gun show. And I thought it was going to be a great comparison between Tula and Golden Tiger since these two are both considered kind of bulk ammo. The accuracy that I got out of those is going to be these two and then these three right here. You'll notice that uh, rounds three, four, and five were pretty close to each other about, I'd say, uh, we'll call it an inch and a half apart. So a pretty decent grouping. Uh, which is about the same as 
the one, two, and four rounds of Tula, so about an inch and a half, uh, which is pretty good. But then again, you have these two flyers. Was that me? I don't know. All five of them, again, felt really good. So it could be a number of different uh, factors. Could be me, the shooter. Could be the different uh, variances in the rounds. Could be the rifle itself. Who knows? But again, the extreme spread on that is going to be fairly consistent right at um, just slightly over five and a quarter. We'll call it five and three eighths on the extreme spread there. So that uh, is uh, pretty consistent between the two bulk styles of ammunition. Now, um, the last round that I shot was Hornady Black, and this is going to be their 123 grain SST. Uh, I was expecting that this round would outperform the other two, and surprise, surprise, it actually did worse. <laughs> uh, again, is it me? Maybe it is. I don't know. But um, the five rounds that I shot with the uh, Hornady Black is going to be uh, this one here, and then these four right here. Um, I felt pretty confident in all five of those rounds when I shot them. Um, I don't feel that I was hurried, but maybe I was. And at the end of the day, the extreme spread on those is going to be eight inches between rounds three and five, which is going to be the furthest apart. Uh, and if I was to take round three out, let's say we'll call it a flyer, uh, we're still looking at six and a quarter inches. So, um, Surprisingly enough, Hornady Black uh, performed the least best out of the three. So that's kind of kind of surprising to me. So there you have it. There is my accuracy on the Zestava Arms USA ZPAP. Um, again, just an average dude here, man. And uh, I hope to be better. I hope to learn this platform a little bit better and my accuracy to be able to increase. Uh, but as it stands right now, average dude shooting, you know, average ammunition. And that's kind of what you should expect. So let me know, sound off in the comment section down below. What's your experience been with this rifle or other Yugos that are out there? Uh, is the accuracy about the same for you or are you getting better accuracy? Um, let me know, sound off in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. Sure do appreciate it. Have a great week. We will see you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Bye, y'all.